welcome back. It's Sonomi again. Today I'll show you how to make clay at home just with flour, salt, and oil. So I'll show you what we need today. We need flour, salt, vegetable oil, and a little bit of water. You need large bowl, something to start with, measuring cup, and a spoon, wax paper, cooking sheet, and then this, these are optional. If you have any cookie cutters, it would be fun. Also, toothpicks. But if you don't have any, it's fine. Also, washable tempera paint. If you are using paint, you need brushes. Some container lids. Cups for water. If you don't have paint, you can use the markers. Okay, let's start. In a large bowl, you need one cup of flour, and half cup of salt. And stir well. You need about one third cup of water, but you might not need all of them, so just um, just put little by little. Maybe put half and start. Okay, I think I need a little more. You don't want to make it too soft, so let's see. And mix well, but not too wet, that's perfect. And then you add one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Mix well, not too wet. Okay. And then now you start using your hand to put together and make it into one piece. If it's still too dry, you can add a little bit more water. But again, make sure don't get it too wet. This doesn't stick to your hand and it's not too dry. This is per perfect. And make it into one big bowl. Okay. Put everything on the side that you don't need. Now you need wax paper. Put on the tray. And clay you made. So let's see what we want to make. So now I'll show you a couple of different things. So let's make flour first. So for the flour, we make tiny bowls. Like this big. You make six of them. So 
one, two, three, four, five, six. So take one in the middle and then put the other ones around it. Evenly. And then push down. So it'll become one piece. Okay, so there's one flower. So let's make something else. Um, maybe I'll make strawberry. Take a little piece and make a strawberry shape. The one side is a little pointy and the other side is kind of flat. Right? Looks like strawberries. Okay, and then take a tiny piece. To make some leaves on top of strawberry. And then like this. Make a little star. And put on top. That look like strawberry and then if you have any toothpicks you can make a little seeds you push down not too straight just push down a little bit sideways Maybe we can make some animal. Um, let's make a little cat. <laughs> so you can make whatever you want. One for the head, one for the body. And you need four little pieces for arms and legs. So bigger for legs and then small for arms and then two tiny ones for ears. Just push down these little pieces. Or little arms. And the body. Okay, you roll it like this. Make kind of like a marshmallow shape. And it's for the legs. And the body. And maybe legs like this on the side. This pick, you can put the little nails. So for the head, this is too big, so I'll take some off. Make a nice little ball. Shape a little bit like a nose, 
and just like this, you put on top of the body. Use the ears. I don't know, looks like cat or dog. <laughs> make and make face, eyes, use the other side. And the nose. A fat cat, dog, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, anyway, you can probably do better, but this is, oh, the tail, you need a tail. Alright. Does it look like a cat? Some animal. <laughs> okay, so I got flower, strawberry, a cat or dog. And the rest, let's try to use these cookie cutters. So if we have smaller children, you can make clay for them and then they can play with this. They can make, this would be easier for smaller children. So make the clay flat and push down like cook, making cookies. Take off the excess of the clay and push down lightly. There is the star. Okay. And the rest you just mix again. Make sure it's nice one piece of ball. And then push down again. Use cookie cutter again, take off excess. Gently take out. When it's small, can use. I have this butterfly. I'm gonna make one more flower. So same thing again, one in the middle and five around it and push down. So I got these nice clay sculptures. Okay, now you can bake it in a 250 degree oven for about one hour until it's hardened. But um, do it with your parents or adult around you. Okay, make sure it's nice and safe. Or if you don't have an access to an oven or you don't have any adults around, the clay can be air dried for two to three days. So you just leave it for a couple of days and then make sure it's nice and dry, okay? So I baked this one for about one hour in 250 degrees and it's nice and hard. So make sure, let it cool down for maybe about one hour I let it sit so I can touch now. And looks like cookies, but 
it's hard like uh, as a rock. These as well. Now we can color these. So let's start with flower. I'm gonna paint the middle part. So I'll let it dry. Let's do the star. I'm gonna change the color. Clean the brush. As always, dry very well. Let's do the butterfly in purple. If you wanna paint something on top of this, just let it dry also. Let's try the strawberry. Carefully paint just the strawberry part. And then we're gonna do green here. So let's paint red first. And you have to let it dry. Might be easier if you just paint on the table. Okay, now this part, the middle part is dry, so I'm gonna paint petals. Let's try this. I tried to do a cat, but it looks like a dog. <laughs> so this one I want to do gray. So I'll mix black and white. For this, just a little bit of black into white and mix. Maybe a little more, but don't put too much black at first. It gets too dark. You can add black little by little until you get nice gray that you want. Okay, it's a nice gray. Because this is very detailed, I'm going to use smaller brush. Strawberry is still wet, so I'll let it sit for a while. Meanwhile, I'll show you how to use the markers on this. So just use the marker as you want. It's very easy to color. you have a chisel, use this flat part, it's uh, faster to color, not this way, this will be, this will take forever, but if you use this way, it's much faster. So the marker works pretty well. Okay, now let's go back to this. I guess this is pretty dry. I'm gonna do the leaves. Carefully paint. Okay, 
and this one too so if you want to go to the details on the face maybe a little bit of pink nose Mm -hmm. And the ears. Looks like a fox now. <laughs> And then maybe seeds too. The black might be too dark, so I'll mix a little bit of white to make really dark gray. And once this is dry, you can also add some colors onto this. And once this is dry, I want to write something on this. So the dry brush. Let it nice and dry. And once this is dry, you can write some words too. You can use a round pointed brush to write words. that's it all right let's see what I made today so some flowers this one with paint this one with the marker a strawberry a cat I don't know fox dog <laughs> Butterfly and a heart with love. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the project and made nice sculptures. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next occasion. Thank you. Bye.